Hey guys, how you going? Just uh, heading over to Rotorua today. I'm just uh, trying to get the K's up on this bike so I can take it back uh, for its um, first service. So uh, done uh, 680 odd K's. Need to do a thousand. So we're getting there. So I'll go across to Rotorua. It's a shitty day. Overcast, a bit rainy, cold, about 13 degrees. So you know well. I think what I might do is I might take you for a ride around the lakes today. We'll go down Lake. Um, we'll turn off before we get to Rotorua, and we'll go down Lake Rotorua, Rotoma, Rotoiti, which is a good lake for fishing. We used to do heaps of trout fishing in Lake Rotoiti. So I think we'll take you around there today, and we'll go down towards Kapitani, come out down that way, and come back up to the, co up the coast. And um, since I'm out, it's raining, it's miserable, it's wet. But I've got my gear on, so nice and snug and warm, so why not, you know, only a good idea I reckon. Okay yeah, guys, we're just um, coming up what's called the Three Mile Hill, which is just um, uh, south of Pangara, or Tupuki, heading towards Rotorua, of course. A lot of forestry up here, but it's um, quite a long, quite a long hill. So it's quite, uh, it's quite nice up here during the when the sun when the sun's shining. It's beautiful up through here. It's like when you go to Taupo. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to use this KTM app. Um, I've just pulled over, and instead of going to Rotorua, I'm going to turn left and head down to Wakatani. I've decided to go around the lakes, as I said. So I'll show you here. Hopefully, you can see it. So I'm going to choose type in Wakatani. So let's choose on map. So I don't want to do that. I'll type in address. Well, just, it's raining, so um, the bloody screen you probably can't see very well. Do we check it? Wakatani Airport, that'll do. Wakatani Airport, so it finds Wakatani Airport. Okay, and I say go. And then I say navigate. Now, see that there? That is now on here. So it projects whatever's on my screen on the phone. You can't see it very well, probably, but you might be able to. And now it's on the display on the bike. So now what I do is I just turn that off, well, yeah, put it to sleep, put this on my bloody, in my jacket, and we're good to go. So, oh, there you go then, like that. Um, so I've also got music going here, so if I go back to my music, and I've got ACDC playing here, so I hit play, and I'm just using the buttons over here, on the handlebars for that so I can have my music going and I can push this button over here and jump back to navigation or I can push this button go back to music and I can jump tracks push that button, the up button to jump tracks come back here right, we're all good so let's go, I'll pull over and stop and show you um, one of the lakes when we get up here Okay, I'll just switch off now for now. Okay guys, this is uh, Lake Rotomar again. As I, I've just stopped and pulled over now so you can have a look. So I'll pan around slowly so you can have a look. I've just changed the uh, front suspension to comfort mode. And I'm not too sure about this. It's, um, I think I liked it as it was, but man, these roads are slippery. Ooh, I'm too bloody. I can't go around these corners quickly. Otherwise, we'll ass off. So even the cars are going slow. Check this out. We're going down a hill here. You probably can't see it in the camera, but it's quite a steep hill. Steep, twisty, winding hill. And even the cars are going slow because it's as slippery as hell. So, mmm. Oh, well, it's all good. Hey, guys, we're just into Teco. And, um, yeah, there's not much to say about the Teco, <laughs> really. Uh, there used to be a petrol station there, um, as you can see. It's not exactly the most wonderful town, unfortunately. Okay, guys, here, oh, hang on, I'll turn the music off. Shut that up. Okay, so here we are in Edgecombe. 
This is um, another little town. You might remember a while ago that those of you in New Zealand that a few years ago they had a huge big flood down here in Edgecombe and wiped out half the town. So this is where I'm going through. I'm not actually going to go through the town, I'll just go through basically a bypass which yeah, is um, it's quite a nice little town actually. I've got a there's a good bakery over there that has good fish and chips, good things to good things to buy for lunch as well. So wanted to show you this cool little basic feature too of these bikes. Down in here on the front forks they have these little can you see this little red o-ring thing? What it does is the idea of it is that you roll it up here to the top and it measures the amount of travel that you're using on the shocks to see where you, if they're going to bottom out or not. So I thought that was quite clever really. Um, yeah, cool. So we'll give that a go. I'm just going to adjust a few things again so we'll see how we go. So we're, just riding, we're just riding up the coast now, um, heading between Wakatani and Tonga. 